Hello everyone, welcome to episode 18 of Plymouth Isle. Uh, this is my Create a World series, so if you don't know, I'm creating a world completely from scratch, and right now I'm working on all of the community lots in the world, and also the houses as well, so slowly, bit by bit, filling the world out. So here we are in episode 18, and this is the final rabbit hole that I'm going to be doing because I believe I've covered them all at this point. Um, you know, I have the city hall, and I have the grocery store, I have now the bookstore, I have the diner, the office building, cafe, or bistro, whatever you want to call it, uh, the hospital, uh, what else is there? The movie theater, I'm just trying to think. I feel like there's definitely some other ones that I know I did, and I'm forgetting the school. I had to do the school. Oh yeah, and the criminal hideout, and the science career center. Yeah, basically a lot, and I'm pretty sure I've covered all of them. Uh, I'm not including, like, just the base game ones, like the base game rabbit holes, and rabbit holes, not community lots in general. Not anywhere near done with the community lots, but this is the end of rabbit holes, so yay. Uh, then from now on, I'll be doing things like, you know, stores and more stores. There's stores in this one, but more stores, and like the laundromat, and... Uh, like graveyards, that's fun, or just the graveyard, salon, you know, fire station, all this stuff. Lots of more, a lot, a lot more community lots to come. But this episode, we're doing the bookstore and then some shops to go along with it. So this is very much kind of in the spirit of the grocery store lot I did, which is actually right across from Central Park from this one. And actually speaking of its location, this is on lot number 21 in the world so there's a lot map linked in the description below so you can go check that out and you can download this for yourself of course there's a download link in the description below as well so if you want to you can go download it add it in put it on lot 21 and yeah it'll be the same as i have it here so that's pretty exciting anyway uh, i did a few changes here to this uh, one building at the end but essentially what i've done is i've placed the rabbit hole in and then i've built a few more buildings in just so it's not so bland and also makes it look more interesting. And again, these buildings are just purely decorative. Uh, I mean, well, that's not entirely true. Like, they are stores. They do function. If you have um, Midnight Hollow, the world from the store, uh, I think, I don't know if the normal version came with it. It may have to be the premium version or whatever. But one of the versions of that world came with the Savvy Sellers collection or whatever. So it's basically like these rugs and pedestals and cash register and you can place items on these shelves or pedestals or rugs and put a cash register in and then sims can go and buy and sell things and it works like a store basically it's kind of like you know they kind of jerry-rigged a um like open for business type of thing into the sims 3 with that but basically these three stores and yes there's three of them this time these three stores uh will function in that way if you have that pack so they are functional stores and um, there's going to be three stores and two apartments. So there's going to be two really small uh, studio apartments that are going to be going in um, on this side here above these two stores. So uh, you can kind of see I'm putting in some windows now for those. And this one here is a balcony, which is pretty cool. So that's, that's fancy. And yeah, putting in uh, those details. But the majority of this video is actually just going to be you know, furnishing the stores, furnishing the um, the apartments. Again, the apartments are just for show. They don't actually, like, function. Your Sims can't live here. It is just a community a lot. Um, I mean, your Sims can go into the apartments and use the stuff there if they want, but it's not really the purpose. So, you know, it just kind of is what it is. But it's more for decoration, and of course, I could have just painted the inside of these buildings black and said, yeah, they're like the rabbit hole, too. They're part of the rabbit hole. But I don't really want to do that. I feel like it's nicer to kind of have something to look at when you come to a lot, you know, kind of like see the inside of them. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, so right here, painting in the sidewalk kind of area that goes around these buildings here. So it's kind of like this nice larger open sidewalk area. So anyway, here I'm going to put in some stairs to the apartments. So this store is very small, as you can see. The apartment upstairs is also very small. Uh, these apartments, I, I call them studio apartments. They're really not livable. Uh, there's not enough stuff in them to make them livable. It's just, again, decoration because they're very, very small. Uh, but basically here I'm putting in uh, just some back doors, or actually the doors that go to the apartments because you can't get to the apartments through the store because that doesn't really make sense. There's a separate entrance around the back of the building. 
that gives access to those um, to those things. But here I'm just putting in some windows along in the front, pretty much. And uh, the third floor here of this building is just a freeze. It's um, almost a full level, but not quite. I didn't want it to be too tall. I didn't want it to be taller than the rabbit hole itself. So I um, kind of shrunk it down a little bit. I did put a window in it uh, in the front and kind of just, like put some walls around there and made it black. So there's not really anything there. But it kind of adds this nice bit of detail from the outside as well. So I guess it is kind of a slight rabbit hole aspect of it. But, you know, you'll see that as we get to it. But pretty much here I'm doing uh, just the outside wallpaper. Kind of have this nice stone uh, on this building here. And then it kind of changes to stucco uh, on the upper level. So just, well, I'm not doing that now, but it will be stucco when we get there. So you'll see I kind of just end up carrying it down because I felt like it looked too, like too many different layers the way it was. So on the sides, I kind of brought the stucco down and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, and here I'm just doing that center building there. And then on the other side is just that one story building that's just a store. I think we get to that a little bit later. Now the stores don't have any particular theme. I'm kind of like waiting to do some more university life type of community lots, like coffee shops and things. Um, kind of like down on the wharf maybe, you know, like by the port area, um, or not the, uh, not, okay, um, the ferry terminal area. Uh, it's kind of where I want to do that. So again, like, like the other a lot, like this one, the, um, grocery store a lot, the, these are pretty generic stores. They don't, they just kind of have, you know, random clutter items and stuff. And this one, actually the one in this building, um, that I'm working on right now will have some furniture, but you know, again, it's uh, pretty generic, um, uh, not anything too, like too centered around a, a theme it is more I kind of wanted it to look nice so you'll see what I mean of course when we get to the insides of these buildings but anyway right now uh, I was considering putting some windows there to that fake third floor but decided not to because they all kind of clipped into the roof uh, detail there so I decided not to do that anyway putting some siding here on the third store over on this side and uh, just kind of getting the back wall there behind the rabbit hole and just recoloring some things. This one kind of has like some green, um, actually a couple of them have kind of this green um, kind of color scheme going on, but I actually like the colors on this one. They're kind of just taken straight off that awning, um, but it's kind of cool. I also put a sign on this store. I don't know what the sign is, where the sign is from. I think we'll get to that a little bit later, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It looks pretty nice. It looks like a real store. And uh, just recoloring some stuff. Oh yeah, I think we're looking for the sign right now. Or maybe, oh yeah, maybe. I uh, put like a little uh, s like uh, signboard on the ground outside, but yeah, like The Sims 4 has a bunch of signs and stuff, and The Sims 3 I didn't think had it, but it does. It had that sign, which is from some pack, maybe University Life, I want to say. I wish I could recolor it because I'm not a huge fan of the colors on it, but I can't, so it is what it is. But anyway, uh, just doing some stuff in the store there. It's going to be like a little bathroom uh, in the corner there, the one public bathroom on this lot because, well, I mean, there's bathrooms in the apartments, but they're not technically public if you want to be like realistic even though of course in the sims your sims can go wherever they want but you know whatever uh, this is actually the largest of the three stores because it's just there's no staircase in this building because there's no second floor so it kind of makes it you know easier to fit more things in because you don't have to cram that in so yeah just uh, basically some shelves in here I uh, have those around and also like the front counter as well and this store just kind of sells some more random thingamabobs and stuff. It's just kind of, you know, a generic store, I guess, but putting in some wallpaper on the walls and I'm getting some wood flooring too, which you'll see. There it is. How exciting. And uh, recoloring the kind of front counter there as well. So just doing that and getting out the cash register. Pretty important, otherwise it doesn't work. So finding that, they bury these objects in like the weirdest places, but there's the pedestals that you can put things on to sell. And these shelves are also the special, special shelves that you can sell things on as well, I believe. And if they're not, then that would be kind of an unfortunate mistake, but I'm pretty sure those are the correct shelves. Also yellow horses for sale. Yay. The other store, um, on the, uh, uh, grocery store lot also sells yellow horses. So that's exciting, but yeah, your Sims can come here and buy yellow horse for real if they want to. They are technically for sale. And here I'm putting in some things. I didn't actually fill all the shelves, so I didn't really have enough random stuff to put on that kind of looked like stuff you'd actually want to buy, you know, like some like random clutter items and stuff like tissue boxes looks kind of weird. So I decided not to do that, but 
just found some random stuff to put on the shelves. This shelf is full of plants. So yeah, I guess if your Sims want to buy some plants, they can come to this store and do that here. So there you go. And yeah, actually, it's pretty much it. It's not not a huge amount of stuff in here, but getting in some lighting, basically got a nice little candle there over the counter. That's pretty cool. And yeah, just getting in some lights and stuff. So nice light, maybe. Mm, there we go. Nice light there is also going to do, I'm uh, also going to do the bathroom as well. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, there we go. So yeah, pretty simple bathroom. Again, it's just a public bathroom for this store. Uh, you know, not anything too over the top. It's got your sink and a toilet in here. So there's your sink counter and there's your toilet. And nice, I have a fun little tile wall there behind the sink. That's pretty cool. And it's kind of like this bluish color. It's nice. I, I kind of like the colors in this store. It's kind of like got green and blue and kind of like uh, off whites and stuff. It's kind of, it looks pretty sophisticated actually. And yeah, it's doing some rugs and stuff. Pretty much it for this store though. Uh, I think that's all I'm really going to do here. Um, so yeah, also a painting in the bathroom too. Gotta make it classy. Anyway, we're going to move on now to the other stores and the apartments. So there's like these two buildings over here. I'm also just kind of like painting this edge in black because of the way the building doesn't exactly join the, uh, or this building doesn't exactly join the uh, um, rabbit hole there. The rabbit hole does have like windows and like a door on the back there, which I kind of covered up with these buildings. So hopefully those aren't used ever. I don't think they are. I think your Sims only will probably use the front door, probably. So, you know. Hopefully that won't be a problem, but yeah, <laughs> just kind of covered that up with this building here. So anyway, <clears throat> sorry about my throat, that tends to happen. Uh -huh. So anyway, doing the inside of the store, this is a very small store, it's not much going on here. I think it's basically just a couple of pedestals and your little cash register there. Uh, this is just like the, this is the smallest building of all, it's just like a really tiny building, it's only like four blocks wide. Uh, and probably like six blocks deep or something, seven blocks deep. I don't know, it's very small, but it has just a couple items for sale, quite literally. There's only two items for sale in this store, so yeah, it's very selective in what they choose to sell, I guess. Uh, actually, there might be three. Depends how many things I put on this pedestal. I'm trying to find some stuff. Yeah, actually, it's three items for sale in this store. Wow, how crazy and wild. What a wild world we live in where this store sells three items. But anyway, putting in some blinds and like a mirror, just trying to make it look kind of nice, but I think that's pretty much it. So I think we're gonna move on to the apartments now, actually, and come back to the third store a little bit later on, uh, perhaps. So yeah, these uh, apartments, again, you can see they're very, very small. There's really not much space for anything uh, in these apartments. Again, like I've said like a thousand times, like a broken record, these are just for decoration, pretty much. That was the intention. And also, because this is, a community, this is a community lot, you can't put like microwaves or stoves or ovens. So the kitchens are pretty incomplete. It's just literally a fridge and a sink. It's also, yeah, there just wasn't much room for anything else anyway. But yeah, I also put a Murphy bed from uh, University Life in this one apartment, which is pretty cool. And I actually went to edit town and came back. It kind of folded up, which is nice because otherwise it looked pretty small in here. But he has also a couple of chairs there, so your Sims can probably use those if they put the bed away. There, the bed just went away magically. Um, so yeah, the bed kind of folds up into the wall there. It's pretty cool. It's a good use of space, but yeah, there's no like living room areas in these apartments. Just like literally just a kitchen, dining area, and bed. That's really all there's room for. Um, the other one has a couple of chairs there. I guess you can Sims can use if they fold up the bed, but there's no like TVs or anything in these apartments. Again, just like they're really small. So here I'm putting in a couple of curtains and um, I could have made, I was considering making it one larger apartment that just went across the entire f like second floor of these two buildings, but I didn't really want to do that because I wanted them to kind of just be individual buildings. I thought that was kind of cooler. I don't know, just what I decided to do. But here you can see is putting in just some stuff, only one chair there for that dining table, which is kind of sad, but yeah really not a lot of room in this apartment. It's also a single bed there too. The other one at least has a double bed. And here's the bathroom, um, kind of colorful. It's blue and yellow kind of. I don't know, thought it was kind of fun. So we have this nice bathroom here for this apartment. And putting in some details and rugs and stuff and some towels, that's always cool and exciting. And that's it, I think, for that apartment. So we're gonna do the other apartment now. This one's a little bit larger. I already put some furniture in here, but I'm just gonna recolor stuff. Uh, there's the kitchen, again, pretty small. 
uh, not not too much going on there, but recoloring the counters, putting some tile on the wall, which is nice. Got a nice bit of a tile backsplash there. And yeah, just doing a few color stuff, a few more things for changing the colors of the bed there. Uh, you know, and also the chairs as well. You can recolor those, you can recolor the dining table area. And then we're gonna do a few details and the bathroom. And that'll be pretty much it for this apartment too. Again, very, very small, but it's cool. I like the detail that it adds kind of this, to this a lot. It's kind of fun to have like these like little apartments. It'd be really cool if you could actually use them as apartments if your Sims could live here. But unfortunately, it's just not a thing in the game. So, oh well. But just kind of the way it is. And here I'm going to do the bathroom now. So this is the bathroom for this apartment. So got a green color scheme in here. So there's the shower kind of in that nook there. It's a little bit larger of a bathroom than the other one. You know, everything in this apartment is a little bit larger. But yeah, nice tiled wall there and uh, a mirror. So that's pretty much it for this apartment as well. And we're gonna move on now to the final store. So that's just this store down here, which ended up making a furniture store. So again, it's pretty generic, but there's just a few um, furniture items for sale in here. So it's like a bookshelf, I think. And I end up putting in um, a couple couches and uh, or I think a couch and a couple chairs. So you'll kind of see that as it evolves. But yeah, this is a pretty simple store. Again, it's very small. There's not really too much space to like really cram a bunch of items in here. So, you know, I was trying to just do the best I could with the little space I had. So putting in um, a little sitting area there so your Sims could technically buy all the stuff that they can see in the store here, except for that painting there, but anything on one of the rugs they could buy. And uh, here I'm just doing some more details, some plants and stuff, just trying to make it look a little bit more decorated so it's not just like this completely plain um, room, basically, because that's kind of sad. Also, this damn curtain wouldn't go in place, so I just gave up on having a window there at all because it was very irritating. And uh, putting in some more curtains and a nice bit of art on the wall there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior of these buildings. I'm going to do some landscaping now and some exterior lighting as well. So again, it's basically the same kind of landscaping that the other lots in this world have, just kind of making it all kind of match. Uh, also, coloring the roofs of these buildings as well. I thought that would be a good idea. And also a couple of chairs in that balcony. I thought that would be nice. So you can kind of look out over um, whatever there is to look out over. And yeah, putting in a few planter areas here um, in the kind of sidewalk area. So we can have some nice trees there, uh, which you'll see in a second. So there we go. Putting in some trees. That's always cool and exciting. So different trees and trees and more trees and bushes. Yay. So some bushes kind of in these planter areas as well. So Kind of matching again the theme that I had with the other lot um, across Central Park um, that is uh, the grocery store lot so yeah pretty much the same kind of gist here also like a little back area as well so I put in um, nice little pathways and stuff and some bushes and stuff I mean this is the side that faces the park as well because um, you know these buildings kind of face that side so I kind of wanted the back of it to look nice as well and kind of you know have like the plants and the pathways uh, like matching the park so it kind of like all blends in and looks nice so I kind of have that going on and yeah just a few more um, bits and bobs here some terrain paint uh, a bit more outdoor lighting as well but anyway we're pretty much near the end here so uh, you know if you want you can check out um, a bunch of the other episodes of this series on my channel there's a whole playlist of that and if you've liked commented or subscribed I really appreciate it it helps me out a lot and yeah uh, there's some screenshots coming up in a few moments so I hope you stick around for those and yeah, just the final touches here, just basically a few more details, a little recycling bin outside, and some ivy on the wall there. And that's pretty much it for this build. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time.